Hello and welcome to a quick and easy tutorial on how to access the Google Classrooms. Here we can access the classrooms by a shortcut on your browser window or we can go to the desired destination through the Google search engine. Click on the first option to enter your classroom website. Your first step will be to join a class. For this, click on the plus icon on the top right corner of the page. A small window will pop up asking you for the class code, which will be provided to you by your coordinator. Once you will enter this code, you will join your respective classes. Inside the classroom, you can see these three tabs on the top. Under the Stream tab, you will be able to see a timeline of the work which has been uploaded and the comments from your teacher or class fellows. On the left side, you can see the small box with the heading of Upcoming. This will mention all the work that needs to be completed on a priority basis. The second tab over here we have is Classwork. You can see the work which has been uploaded will be segregated into subjects for easy access. Let's look at one subject material as an example. Here we have an English comprehension passage which is in the form of a PowerPoint presentation. Click on this file and to play it we need to open it up in a new window. Here you will be able to see this downward facing arrow in the top right corner. Click on this to download your presentation. Once downloaded, this file can now be accessed from your PC from the Downloads folder available in My Computer. Spot your downloaded file, double click and in this way you will be able to listen to your lesson. Let's have a look at another file type uploaded by your teacher. This is a video file. Click on it to play and again we'll have two options over here. We can either play it online or we can download it and play it at a later time. Apart from this, you'll also have a set of worksheets to solve. Options available here are either you can download it and solve it as a soft copy or you can print it and solve it on the hard copy. And once that is done, do not forget to submit your work back to your teacher. View your work option here will show you the work that has been assigned to you. You'll also be able to see your missing and completed work. Now let's see how to submit the work which you have completed. Once you open the particular assignment, you'll see the option of turn in. Click add to your work in this box and click on the file option and select your work file. This can either be in the form of a solved soft copy or a picture taken of the work done on a printed hard copy. Once selected, upload your file and now you can click on the turn in option. This is how you will submit your work back to your teacher. Down here you can see the box for private comments. Here you can type in any confusion or questions which you have to ask directly from your teacher. Now back on the main page, you'll see these options on the left side. Here you will be able to monitor your own work. Assigned work shows the work which has been assigned to you. Returned work shows the work which the teacher has checked and returned back. And the missing work shows the work which still needs to be completed. Let's see how your teacher has checked and returned the work back. Here you can see many highlighted sentences. Click on one such sentence and a small pop-up box will appear. This pop-up box will show the comments of the teacher and whether there are any corrections to be made. Please read these comments very carefully. Now here as well, we can see how the teacher has checked the handwritten work and added all the necessary comments. In such a case, please read these comments very carefully and if required, make all the necessary corrections and resubmit your work. The last tab is of the people. 
and you will be able to view the complete list of all the teachers of your class and all your fellow class students. I hope this video proves to be useful and assists you in all the easy and smooth usage of Google Classrooms. However, if there are still any confusions left, you can always ask in the comments section. Thank you.